I have honestly never ever filmed a video like this before. I feel like these past few days I have been completely taken advantage of. So many things have been done or said. My daughter was going through an instance, you guys, where this boy calling her the B word uh, looked at me in my face and told me I don't need to be having that conversation with my son because he isn't black. I will be happily smiling in my mug shot with everything that has gone on. Hey you guys. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching another motivational video. So today I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys before I go out and run a few errands. I feel like, I'm just gonna be honest, I feel like these past few days I have been completely taken advantage of and I feel like my kindness has been taken for a weakness and I just want to sit down and talk to you guys today and just get a few things off my chest because I've never filmed a video like this before like ever. I just want to sit down and come to you guys today just to talk to you guys about a few things that has been going on because y'all like it's just a whole mess. I just want to talk about it because like I said I've never talked about this with you guys here on my channel. These past few days have honestly been mind blowing and I thought that I was going to be able to just sit down and get through this part of the video with ease but you guys listen I'm not going to be able to do that. It has been a few days since I have sat down and done my hair and London's hair and I want to take you guys along the process of doing our hair and just getting a few things done in the mix but I feel like even the clips that I do have it still does not compare to how much I have been doing behind the scenes and trying to get done and just trying to put together for you guys I'm working on a handful of projects that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in the future so I have some things in the works but right now I have just been trying to get some things done around our home get some things done within myself take care of myself take care of my mental health and y'all like people have really just been pushing it and trying it and people are just taking my kindness for a weakness in this past week i've had a lot of situations here on my youtube channel but i've also had situations you know behind the scenes as well it's so overwhelming and it is almost getting to the point to where i'm finding it hard to you know continue filming and continue to do the things that bring me creativity and joy and things like that because so many things have been done or said and i am just no today all of that stops like i can't do it anymore i feel like at this point i just have to stand up for myself and honestly stop being so nice all the time and stop letting things go honestly with me doing that nothing is changing and i cannot take it anymore like that's over with it's done it's over with like it stops today because this year it's not supposed to be like this. This is very much my year to flourish and to grow and to do the things in life that I have been praying for, asking for, literally begging for, crying for. Listen, like this is my year. Like I am not joking with y'all. This is my year and a lot of things that have been going on like it stops today. For instance, I want to let you guys in on a few things that have been going on. As you guys know, Jake and I, we moved into an apartment. Well, ever since we've been here at this apartment, I feel like my character has been tested. Everything has been tested. I feel like I have been getting pushed to my limit. My my last limit you guys my very very last limit this is our first time being in these situations honestly i handled it gracefully because i could have handled it a completely different way and you guys wouldn't even see me sitting right here today because i will be happily smiling in my mug shot with everything that has gone on it's just so overwhelming for one my daughter was going through an instance you guys where this boy a boy was calling her the b word a, a, my daughter is she was three years old she just turned four okay she was three years old getting called a female dog i tried to talk to the mother there comes a time whenever your three-year-old daughter continues to come to you crying and doing this and doing that that you just want to be like okay i need to address this because obviously it's getting nowhere in that time frame where I was addressing a parent about someone literally calling my daughter a female dog, I got cussed out. And like literally, I don't know who does this, but I got cussed out in a whisper, you guys. I don't know who does that. I won't, if I'm gonna cuss you out or do anything, I am not gonna whisper it. I'm just gonna say it out loud. I don't have to whisper something. As you guys can see, 
at that point I'm just like okay this is getting nowhere because obviously the apple isn't falling too far from the tree if I'm over here trying to address you you're gonna call me a female dog by, tr by trying to address you someone that you're involved with calling my daughter a female dog no the person you're involved with shouldn't be calling her a female dog and for you to call me one no that's what we're not going to do like we can't do that we should be able to be adults and come to each other and be able to talk about this not tell each other oh i'm sorry but there's nothing i can really do about that what you can't do anything just to give you guys a little feedback my daughter is getting called the female dog on her porch with her toys her things all of her stuff and she's getting called the female dog in her personal space. And I'm trying to talk to you about this and you're telling me that there's nothing that we can do. Yes, there is. When it comes to her personal space, nobody is allowed right there, period. But if I could tell you guys the whole story, then you will understand because if I were to talk like this or do this, then you guys will understand that, you know, I would be getting the police called on me. I will be acting belligerent or crazy or doing this or doing that all off the strength of me trying to talk to someone because my daughter is getting called the female dog no so I told the person like you know what no nobody is allowed over here in my daughter's space nobody's allowed with this or that now moving forward my children have had to get rid of things that we were told they could have here so they could actually enjoy their time here. Their basketball goal, their jungle gym. My son bike has gotten stolen. All of my children things are broken or messed up. We will put them up or it get drug out by other children. It's just a mess. I am so upset and I have just been holding these emotions in. But like I said, today all of that stops. Like I am, it stops. In the mix of all of this stuff going on, you know, I'm, going to be honest like I'm having some real life issues in other areas in my life that I'm trying to you know keep it all together and just hold it all in and just bite my tongue with because I know that there's work that has to be done in other areas you know what I mean so I'm trying to keep it all together meanwhile you know situations arise and you know I'm just like you know what I'm done I'm closing my door I'm coming in my I'm coming in this apartment I'm working on me. I'm not opening my door. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm focusing on myself, my children, and all of this, and just doing, getting it together in our house because I just got cussed out. My daughter has been cussed out. It has transpired into a bigger situation that it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been in the first place. So I finally was just like, you know what? I'm closing my door. I'm going in the house. I'm not talking to anybody. This BS that is going on in this area with my daughter being called this, and I also have BS that's going on in this area, I'm shutting my door. Shutting my door. I'm closing the door to all this nonsense, and I am just about to focus. So on the day that I filmed my pantry video, I was so excited right after I filmed that video. Now, mind you, everything that I just told you guys happened right before that video. And I tried to keep it together, pull it together, and just be a little, just have a, a, a ounce of happiness so I could work with grace and honesty and just be me because I was having such a hard time. Right after I filmed that video, like, I kid you guys not. Do you guys know that somebody came to my home, came to my home, stepped foot in my home, looked me in my face, and called me crazy for not wanting to talk to anybody that day, for not wanting to deal with anything, for just shutting my door and wanting to just get some things done within our house, within our apartment and our life. Just get some things done, you know? Right after I filmed that video and called me crazy for not wanting to talk to people, a certain individual actually. Do you guys know how that made me feel? Nobody stood up for me. I had nobody there in that moment to stand up for me. And yes, let me just be honest, it was a man, not my husband. I want to make that clear, it wasn't my husband. You guys, I had nobody there to stand up for me. I had nobody there to speak up for me. I had nobody there to have my back. I had so many things going on that day with things that had transpired, I had all this stuff going on, and then I had to deal with that at the end of the night. I was so, I cried, and I had nobody to talk to. No, it just, why? 
And then moving forward, honestly, you guys, my son, you know, we live in an apartment building. This is a completely different environment where obviously you guys see my daughter is getting called the female dog so we can and I'm trying to approach the situation with peace and honesty. And this person, uh, 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 ma'am, I'm so sorry, Karen. No, this is what we're not going to do because Karen, if I did that to you, you will literally call the police on me and I will go to jail. I am not allowed to do that. I have to keep my composure. But right now, I can't keep my composure. Like, I'm talking to you guys. I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep it together. But yes, because I'm like, if I lose it, it's going to take it to the next level. And there's so many other things that I could tell you guys that happen about these situations. I literally live in an area where people are just blatant, like, just so brutally freaking racist. And it's so disgusting. <sighs> Epic. Y'all, there's so much stuff. Aside from that, you guys, moving forward, it honestly hasn't been too long since that happened and other things have transpired that I haven't shared with you guys and I don't know when I'm gonna share with you guys because it'll just bring on a whole other heap of emotions, trying to just get through other things. And my son, you live in an apartment complex and we live in an area where people are just so blatantly rude. People are just so free-spirited about their racism is what I'm gonna say. They don't care about the racist gestures or the racist comments or anything that they do. My son, he's getting to an age where his personality, becoming a young boy. He's not my little baby that I wanna call a baby anymore, you know? He's outside, he thinks he's tough or you know, he's help taking out the trash or he's doing little things and he's trying to have his hood on. But here's the thing, we live in an area where he cannot walk around with his hood on when it's close to nighttime or anything like that. Can't walk around with his hood on going anywhere, you know, with his friends. So like, I don't want him to. It scares me. It honestly scares me. I don't want him to. It was time for us to sit down and have a talk with him about this. He has to be cautious about his actions. It's a, as a parent, it's not a conversation that you want to have with your child. They have to be cautious about something as simple as putting their hood on you just don't want to do it and I'm talking to my son about this you guys because let's be honest I am his mother someone looked at me in my face and told me I kid you not I don't need to be having that conversation with my son because he isn't black he is not black do y'all know the anger I felt it's a situation where you literally see red streaks going across your eyes because wait a minute, what? Now wait a minute, the same person looks at me in my face and tells me whenever I'm talking about putting some feed-in braids in my daughter's hair because I want her braids to last longer because her hair is finer than mine. I'm talking about doing a style to my daughter's head that is still kid friendly and I literally get told to my face. You don't need to treat your daughter like she's black and do styles that we would do to a black girl. What? What in the world is going on? I mean, I have a lot that I want to say, but it all boils down to why. Why do we go there as human beings to tell someone something like that? First off, I am pretty sure that I am African-American. I laid down on that bed three times, three times to get my stomach cut open to deliver my three precious babies. So they came out of my womb, my body. You don't get the right to tell my children that they're not African-American. They're not black. I don't need to do this and treat them like they're black. You just don't, period. I'm done allowing people to be in my life. Who's gonna say something like that? Because not to mention this is the same person that looked at me when I decided to do something for myself to better my life. They looked at me and told me, you're nothing but a black girl on the streets having babies. I have a husband, okay? and I have a family. Don't ever disrespect my marriage by saying that I'm just another black African American woman on the streets having babies. No, I'm not. Put some respect on me.
put some respect on my marriage. There's been many things that has happened, but at the end of the day, I am me, standing 10 toes strong, 10 toes down as a black woman. And I'm doing it, boo. No matter how hard it is, I'm doing it and I'm killing it. I am done giving people that advantage over me to feel like they can tell me things like that. That's not fair and I don't want to deal with things like that anymore. And I didn't even want to film a video like this today, but there has been so many things that have happened that I just cannot ignore it. And these are just the these are just the tip of the iceberg stories that I have for what has been what has been going on, you guys. Just to tip it all off, I had someone tell me here on my YouTube channel, and I got a negative comment, which I know that we all get negative comments. I got one and you know, this girl told me, you didn't comment back to me on your last video. I'm not gonna comment on your channel anymore. I see you're not loyal to the ones that care. Excuse me? You're gonna question my loyalty based off of a YouTube comment section? I didn't comment back to you from a few videos ago. Whenever, if you really know me, if you're really a loyal subscriber, then you know. I am busy dealing with life. If you think that I am going to allow you to be a part of the dragon session that the devil is trying to have. No ma'am, we can cut it short today. You're blocked. You don't have to comment. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to do anything for my channel. You don't, period. And I don't mean that to be mean. I mean that in the most humblest way possible. I love each and every subscriber, supporter, anybody that I have. And I will always love everybody here on my channel. But if you cannot come to me and with respect and know that I'm busy or know that there's other things going on or you come to me sideways and we don't even talk personally, like you don't even know me personally, you don't know what I'm dealing with, you don't know what I'm rocking with, you don't know, like, don't come at me sideways about not getting back to you within the time limit that you are setting. It's not even a two-way streak. Like, you don't get to tell me when I have to comment back to you. That's not how it works. I feel like because of that situation, I feel like it's time for me to come on here and talk to you guys about this because I've never talked to you guys about this, but I want to talk to you guys. Oh my gosh, this is like 29 minutes long. I've never talked to you guys about this, but I want to talk to you guys about this today. Everything that I do on my channel is me. Every single thing that I do on my channel, every single thing that you guys see on my channel, aside from my husband honestly helping me put things together in my YouTube videos and hang things on the wall or paint things, we work and we do things together in that aspect. But when it comes to delivering videos for you guys, when it comes to filming, putting it together, thinking of new content, when it comes to everything, all the content producing, the, every single thing, when it comes to this life of mine, the This Life of Mine brand, I am doing this by myself and I am trying the hardest I can. So I seriously took my whole entire YouTube check and spent it on a new editing software and you guys, I cried, I went through depression, you guys, because I didn't understand how to use this new editing software. And I didn't have anybody that I could ask for help. No one that I knew had this editing software. At the time, I honestly wasn't even talking to anybody and I'm just gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I have honestly one friend here on YouTube that I talk to on a daily basis. She knows who she is. There has been so many things going on in my life that I haven't even been able to talk to friends or really just live a life of a 23 year old woman. I haven't. And now I can finally say that I talk to my friend every day on a daily basis and I am able to have two hour long phone conversations with her and I feel so good once we get off the phone because it's genuine, it's all love. And I absolutely love her, you guys, love her. We have gone through a lot in our friendship and it's just one of those friendships you know where even if you don't talk for a week, you can just talk to him and it's like you've never even had that time apart. That's the friend that she is and I absolutely love her. I was going through a lot of changes in my life and I was not talking to anyone, honestly. I was so depressed that I stayed to myself. I didn't talk to anybody. I was 
in and out of places. It was really, really, really a hard time. So I wasn't talking to anybody. So I had this editing software that I literally spent this money on my whole entire YouTube check on. I didn't know how to use it. And then now I just got to the point where I know how to use it and I'm so comfortable and I'm still learning things every single day, but I'm proud of myself. Not only have I taught myself a new editing software during this time of just going through so many life events that have been beating me up, I have learned a new editing software. I have been blessed and able to receive a new dining room table. And you guys, we moved into our apartment and I don't know how many nights we spent eating on the floor or on our coffee table in the living room. And I'm not joking, we did. We all gathered around and just talked and we prayed. And now we have a dining room table. It's only been a little bit since I've been back on YouTube, but I have been trying to work my butt off to do the things, not only to give you guys free content, but also do the things in our life that are helping us grow in the future. Because listen, I know you guys see on YouTube and I know you guys see a lot of different lives and different perspectives on YouTube with how things are behind the scenes. But over here on this life of mine, things are not that easy. Sometimes I like to think that it's just a soap opera event going on sometimes because life is not easy. I can't splurge all the time. I can't splurge on my kids or I can't sit down here on YouTube and tell you guys, oh yeah, I get millions and millions of views and I'm all of this money is for me. I'm not saving any of this money for my children. No, can't, I don't have that luxury. Go out and just spend and spend and do bukus and bukus of different things. Man, life is tough. I'm in the season of my life now where we have to slow down and we have to make the necessary changes in our life to make sure that we and our children have a life in the future. I don't have the same luxury and advantages as a lot of other people and I know that that's what you guys expect from me but I can't deliver that. And I also can't be here all the time, every single second, especially if you leave a comment at 12 or one o'clock in the morning to comment back to you as soon as you comment. I can't deliver that. I can't do that. I'm 23 and I was just having a conversation with a newfound friend and honestly you guys we were talking about I, I don't even go to bars another thing like I don't drink I don't go to a club I've never been to a club I don't go out I don't do things like that and I'm not saying it as in there's something wrong with it because honey I'm 23 I want to be out living life right now I want to get to a point to where I can be home with my children and also live life and I cannot deliver expectations for you that are making it harder for me to meet those goals in my life. I have a lot of different things going on behind the scenes that I have yet to share. And then whenever I do share it, I have all of these built up emotions that it's just so much. I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I really hope you guys know that it's all love. Some people, some different things and situations have got to stop. It's got to end. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. I'm releasing that negativity from my life and I just don't want it. And the reason why I'm making this video again is because I want to claim that status of not wanting it and just letting it be known and just be free of these situations because I got to focus. I can't do this. I can't. It has to end. And my channel, This Life of Mine, is about that. This Life of Mine what I'm doing as a mother to take care of my children and I'm gonna be sharing tips, tricks, hacks and everything along the way with you guys that I have found to make my life easier in this life of mine because parenting is hard, life is hard. We all go through daily struggles and I wanna share getting through those daily struggles with you guys and I intend to keep it that way. I intend to move forward with this and be able to make a life for us that they can look back and say, oh man, my mama did it and I'm so happy. Like, look at what we have. And if I want to, I get to take over and you know flourish or I can go to college or I can start my own business. And I know that I've never done a video like this, but I feel like it is imperative that you guys know that we are just gonna leave it at that. Because like I said, I do have a lot of different things that I have to do have a lot of errands that I have to run. Honestly, I have just been so busy working on future content that I know you guys are going to love. Not only you guys, but I'm also working on future content that I have just been I have just been preparing for it and I have been waiting for it for a very, very long time. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a long time, if you are a this life of mine loyal, then you know 
where the bottom you know where we started you know where we came from just to look forward now and we've gone through so much so much since then like just going through so much within that time that now I'm excited about the new content that I'm working on and I have planned for you guys and we're just gonna leave it at that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this sit down because it was honestly very raw, very real chest and I had a lot of different things that I wanted to talk to you guys about and I have honestly tried to film this video so many different times, especially within this vlog. I have tried to sit down and actually talk to you guys but it just really didn't go as planned and now I feel like now we can move forward with the work, the content, the creativity, I just released all of that baggage and all of that energy and I'm ready for what's to come so I hope you guys enjoyed this part and I just want to also let all of the negative people that come to my channel I want to let you know from this point forward if I see anything any negativity even if I know you in real life any negativity you're getting blocked I'm not talking to you we're not doing it I'm at a point in my life where I'm no longer accepting anything that literally shifts my energy in a way that I don't want it to be shift. And if you are a part of that shifting process, you're going to be deleted from my life. At this point, everyone, you know, all of these situations that have occurred, all of these people have been given multiple, multiple chances. I wear my heart on my sleeve, okay? I really do. At this point, I can't do it anymore. I'm not going to continue to wear my heart on my sleeve and put myself in situations that make me feel less than or devalued or anything just you know we're moving forward and if you guys are ready for that journey then here we are let's go thank you for being here i'm so excited and if you don't want to be a part of that journey it was nice knowing you i really do appreciate all the love and support that you gave me here on my channel but we have to part ways and that's okay it's completely okay with me Thank you guys so much for watching this sit down portion. Yeah.